everyone and welcome back to my class you know that i am teacher and junior lecturer of elabeth high school and junior college so in today's class we are dealing with the chapter 12 that is from 10th class and social studies here from this lesson we are starting our second paper and chapter name is the world during the world wars so in this chapter we shall talk about the history of the world in the first half of the 20th century and here the causes and the consequences of two world wars and the creation of an institution like the United States, the United Nations and ensure the world peace and development also. So here first we will discuss about the 20th century. So here in 20th century here the Arabic husband and the historian call the 20th century that the age of the extremes here. So on one hand and means in one side here the fascism was growing strong because of its ideas of unquestioned power and hatred for the other peoples. So on other side here the need of the democracy was growing. So here the average of life expectancy rate was growing higher because of the new discoveries in the field of medicine. And here the literacy levels also become the high that is the more people had the better education now the new art forms like the movies also become known here to the people. And in the field of the science new discoveries were made about the life and the items also more than 100 countries become the independent all over the world. So here the many great experiments happen in the 20th century. In some countries here the socialist societies come up and in socialist societies here the people lived with the equality and the fraternity also. And here some countries adopted the liberal democracy where the people had political liberty and the capitalist economy exactly. And at the beginning of the 20th century here the world was divided into developed industrialized countries of the west that include the Britain, USA, Germany, France, Italy etc are there. And here other side colonized countries of Asia and Africa also. So these countries were under the control of development nations and here the, and here the industrialized countries had split into the two enemy groups or blocks here. Here Germany, Austria and Hungary was one side and Britain, France and Russia were on the other side okay so each group wanted to dominate over the world and control as many colonies and market as possible which led to the occurrence of the world wars get it here so here the first world war began in 1914 and it was really a world war because almost all the countries of the world took part in the war like China, Japan on the east and the US on the west took part in the war here. So the first world war ended in 1918. Here Britain and France defeated Germany and its alliance in the war. So here the causes for the wars is that the aggressive nationalism and imperialism and the secret alliances and the militarism and the Balkan politics and the immediate cause and here the world after the first world war that is here the treaty of Versailles of 1919 and the league of nations that is in 1920 and the Russian Socialist Revolution that is from 1917 to 1922 and the rise of Stalin and the impact of Russian Revolution on the world and the economic depression that is from 1929 to 1939 and the rise of racism and Nazism here. So after this now we will discuss about the Second World War that is from 1939 to 1945. Here the aggressive nationalism and the militarism and the imperialism and the secret alliance were the reasons for the Second World War also. So here the special context for the Second World War where here the Treaty of Versailles, intensity of the terms and failure of the League of Nations and German challenge to vengeful domination, fear from the socialism and Russia and the, at last here the immediate cause. So in this here the immediate provocation for the World War II was when the Germany army entered the Poland on September 1st in 1939. So here Hitler the dictator of Germany invaded the Poland as the punishment for refusing to hand over the port of Dazing to Germany. So here the Hitler 
thought that the takeover of Poland would be a small military operation. But here Poland had a defense pact with the Britain. So here the Britain joined the Polish side and the France also joined them a day later. So here this marked the beginning of the Second World War. So here at most of the fascist countries here support each other and begin the military contest of the neighboring countries. This led to the Second World War between the Axis power led by the Germany, Italy and Japan on one side and the allied powers led by the England, USA, France and USSR. Okay, so here in 1941, Japan, an ally of Germany, attacked the Pearl Harbor of USA. Here, Hitler decided to attack USSR in 1942. So, that's why with this, USA and USSR joined the war against the Germany and Japan. And at last, the defeat and the end. So before beginning, see this map. So, after seeing this map, that the initial victories of the German armies were turned back after they were defeated in the famous battles of the Satellite Guard uh, in early 1943. So here people all over the Eastern Europe welcomed the Soviet forces at the liberties from the hatred Nazi rule. So they eventually captured the Berlin and here the capital of Germany. So Hitler and his close associates committed suicide to avoid the being captured and tried. So eventually here the Germany was divided into two parts. Here the eastern part was named as the German Democratic Republic that is GDR and the western portion was named as the Federal Republic of Germany that is FRG. So here the GDR come under the area of influence of USSR while the FRG come under the influence of USA. So here in the far east Japan surrendered to USA after the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. With this the second world war ended in August 1945. So here the US armies occupied Japan but allowed the Japanese emperor to continue to rule here. But Japan built a constitutional monarchy like England. So here the Japan was to ruled by the elected government responsible to the parliament that is right D-I-E-T. So here the many of the Nazi generals and the leaders were captured and up to trail in the famous Nuremberg trails. Here the Nuremberg tribunals sentenced to only the 11 leading Nazis to death and many others were imprisoned for life. So here the justice happened yet the punishment given to the Nazis was very little as compared to the brutality exactly when compared and the extent to their crimes. So here the alliance did not want to be as harsh on the defeated Germany as they had been after the first world war. So here given the economic collapse of the Germany and Japan after the war here the USA come up with a Marshall plan to found the economic revival of the two countries. So here the USSR come up with the package for the revival of the East European countries. So all these are the causes for the second world war. Now we will see the consequences of the world wars here. Here the world wars had a long lasting impact on the politics, society and economy of the world. Exactly. So here the first half of the 20th century ended with the nightmare of Hiroshima and Nagasaki and here the hopes were also generated by the establishment of UNO. So here just as the first world war saw the end of the large monarchic empires, here the second world war saw the end of the large colonial empires of the Britain, France, Japan, Italy and Germany. So by the 1950s here the countries like India, China, Indonesia, Vietnam, Egypt, Nigeria etc are become the independent exactly and Britain which was the most powerful country before the war now become the secondary power. So here the two new superpowers has emerged on the world scene that is the USSR and the USA. So here the USSR which faced the enormous destructions and the losses from the Hitler's war where gradually here the rebuild its economy and its victory greatly increased its prestige in the world. And here it was now joined by the entire Eastern Europe and the China to form a large socialist camp here and the enormous 
human cost and the democratic principles arrested and the change in balance of powers and the enfranchisement of women and the new international organization so it, all these will become under the consequences of world wars so by this causes and the consequences we have completed our 12th chapter that is the world during the world wars thank you